Well, we've got about four more hours of this moderate to heavy snowfall. It'll start to become a little bit lighter after two o'clock, but we're still going to be piling on the snow, uh, so to speak, and continuing to see some isolated snow showers right on up to around a nine o'clock or so. The winds are gusty. They're still out of the south and the southeast at about 25 to over 35 miles per hour, and that's creating some low visibility in a lot of spots. It's down to zero now in Whitewater, up to one mile in Waukesha and eight tenths of a mile in Milwaukee. The bottom line is it's treacherous travel out there. If you have to be out on the roadways, you definitely want to take it slow. You can see the low visibility now on our camera in Milwaukee with the temperature at 31. Sustained winds at 16 miles per hour, but gusts anywhere from about 25 to 30 miles per hour. We're at 27 in Beaver Dam and Watertown, 28 in Waukesha, and it's Waukesha County, which has been added to the winter storm warning now, which goes until 9 a.m. tomorrow morning, along with Racine and Kenosha. Kenosha counties, Milwaukee County, still into the winter weather advisory. So we're still piling on the snow at the moment, but Racine County, Kenosha County and Waukesha counties have been added to the winter storm warning because we're expecting higher snowfall totals as we've been getting some of those bands out of Illinois are working a little bit farther towards the north and some heavy snow now with that darker shading of the purple coming in across Lake Geneva, some lighter snow like to moderate snow from Manitowoc, Sheboygan on into Fond du Lac, but this is going to continue right on into the early morning hours of Wednesday morning. So we've made a few adjustments on the map here, more likely to see more of those five to seven inch snowfall totals a little bit uh, lesser amounts farther towards the north, but I think you get the picture here, whereas places like uh, Franklin could see upwards about five to seven inches along with Greendale. So farther west you are and farther south, that's where you could see some higher totals, and we're thinking there's going to be less mixing with this. As you can see, there'll be only about an hour of possibly seeing some sleet in Racine and Kenosha before it quickly changes right back over to some snowfall and exits the area right around nine o'clock tomorrow morning and we'll see a mostly cloudy sky from there and get a break from the precipitation before our next round of snow heads our way towards the end of the week. So through the nighttime hours, an additional one to three inches of snow will be possible on top of what we've already received. It'll be wet snow, and as you saw in the visibility map there, it's going to be poor visibility for the rest of tonight with the snow wrapping up around 9 a.m. Temperatures, they'll be in the upper 20s and lower 30s. Tomorrow we'll go from the mid to upper 30s and fall throughout the day into the 20s by Wednesday night. Early Thursday morning, we're looking at temperatures into the teens. So New Year's Eve will start out very cold. Friday, a wintry mix going back to some snowfall. We could see another significant round there. Then we're all quiet for the weekend with another chance for a wintry mix headed our way on Monday. So it's going to be a busy seven days.